episode five, David Reed Holmes TV. Moved back up to the North Island this time. We're in Taranaki. What a great place it is. Um, I'm your host, I'm Mark Shaw. I'm based in sunny Marlborough. It's certainly been sunny here, probably been sunny in Taranaki as well. Uh, I suppose the big thing for DRH at the moment is our teams are back on site and, you know, we, we're we treating this as uh, we're lucky to be able to get back on site and start building. And for us, we're taking it very seriously um, around our health and safety and all our teams are doing the best they can to keep their social distancing and all those types of things. So, yeah, it, it certainly is a privilege to be able to start building again and our teams are ripping into it across the country. Um so, yeah, the weather continues to amaze across the country, which is a good thing, which helps us. And today we're talking to Nathan Mumbi from David Reed Homes Taranaki. Uh, you're local, man, Nathan. You're from around them parts. You, you know, you're Taranaki, yeah. man. You're Taranaki hardcore, is that what they say? Yep, yep, like no other. Yeah, g'day, Mark. Hey, um, yeah, I'm actually a Stratford boy, so uh, born and bred Taranaki. Um, it's been, you know, a number of years overseas, but, uh, yep, uh, the true heart is um, Taranaki boy for sure. Excellent. Oh, great place. I've been there a couple of times. Magic, magic down that coast towards Oaka, is it? And yep, Oaka, yeah. Yep. yep. Brilliant. I had a great time. Like, loved it. Certainly, yep. certainly a positive town. A lot going on there from what I could see when I was last there. Oh, there's a great culture in our city, eh? And um, in our community. And, um, you know, we've got really good, strong leaders that, um, uh, you know, have good vision for our community. So there's been a lot of neat things that over the years that have been put in place, like our walkway and yeah. you know, Glen Lyce Centre and, um, you know, also Pukakura Park. So, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, and good people, lifestyle. And people moving to Taranaki from out of out of the region, you know, Aucklanders, Wellingtonians, is there people coming into town? Is that a thing that's happening? Is that a thing you're seeing at DRH? Oh, absolutely, for sure. And it's been for a number of years that, um, you know, as property has increased in price um, and living has gotten harder in places like Auckland that, you know, places like Taranaki become more appealing and we're, we're literally only a 45 minute flight um, yeah. to Auckland. So there are a lot of people that live here um, and weekly fly to Wellington or Auckland for work. Yeah. So Brilliant. Fantastic. You can do that. Look, we're going to feature a home today. It's your, it's your open home in the Sycamore Estate in New Plymouth. It's, uh, it's 200 squares, three bedrooms, Two bathrooms, two car garaging. Yep. Um, nice little. Is this a subdivision that you guys have been working in? Yeah. So this is um, yeah the Seekermore subdivision. It's the closest um, subdivision to the CBD. Um, so we're literally a, a ten minute walk um, down the Huataki Stream um, into the heart of the city. Right. Um, what we've featured with our show home is is just um, you know a good um, solid family home. Um, with architectural features, um, everything's been slightly up spec, so um, but still um, attainable with a modest budget. Um, you know, it's. Uh, do you want to talk about the features of the home? Yeah, I was just going to say it's. it's yep. look, to me, it looks like it's a pavilion style home. Is that correct? Yep. Yep, yeah. Yeah. And is that like? Is it a? Tell me, is it a, is it a standard DRH plan or is it based off? Is it a bit more bespoke? Is, is it you know? What what thought went into the layout and top? Types of, you know, was it based on the site or? You know? Yes, yeah, so, so we didn't um, we didn't choose one out of our plan range, um, basically because of the site. Yeah. Um, so this was a specific design, um, but it also you know with added flair. So uh, the pavilion isn't really a, a common style of home in Taranaki. So we, we wanted to do something a bit different, and um, and obviously with the DRH theme. Um, you know, it's got raised ceilings and it's got oblique cladding. Um, Hardy's oblique cladding. Um, we've done a resin um, plastered feature wall in the entryway. You know, it's got dual skylights. Um, you know, we've got hardwood decking. So it, everything's here um, to a slightly higher level. Yeah, I mean, it certainly looks like a, it's a great looking house. St does, as far as you're concerned, it stands out in the subdivision, does it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's... Um, it sort of got like that um, Queenstown feel, um, yep. you know, with like the rock wall and um, the outlook over the bush and the mountain and yeah, yeah. So it's a beautiful home. Yeah, it certainly looks like a great place to live. Um, just the kitchen. We've got a kitchen shot there. Yep. Um, looks... Yeah. So we went with um, Glenn Johns. Um, is, that a local, is that a local company, is it? Yeah, he's, he's a local guy and, uh, right. you know, he, he's known for his... Um, uh, you know, good quality, uh, more high-end kitchens. 
Um, yeah, so really fitting with, with the uh, with the home, really. Yeah, it just really just nice. tell us a bit about some of the features in there. I mean, it's look to me, it's got the it's got the. I say it all the time. I say it in every episode. The great indoor outdoor fly. I mean, that's the <laughs> that's the deck right there. Yeah. What's going on with that splashback? And you know, what is it? Is it some some? That, yeah. That so one? with the tiles and the splashback, um, because we've got the oblique cladding, you can sort of slightly see it in that photo too outside, and it has the vertical line. So we did the same with the tiles. We did um, we turned the tiles around and um, laid them vertically. So right. it sort of brings the outdoor um, into the kitchen. Um, and that's the uh, the feature wall that you can see there that, that uh, folds around into the kitchen. Um, everyone touches that feature wall, <laughs> and, um, and and you just can't not touch it. And it, it's um, people think it could be like a sheet product or um, or a block product, but it's actually um, a plaster. So um, it's unique to our home. So the the plasterer, depending on how he feels on the day, um, it'll look different every time he plasters it. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, so really neat. Definitely. And just in behind that feature wall is a little nook, so that's where we've got our, um, uh, it's like our little coffee station and stuff in there, so. Sure, sure. Um, and, it, like, it, I see there's a little, there's a little uh, air conditioning. Is it, is it, how's the house heated? I mean, I mean, Paranaki quite mild. It gets a bit wet, I think, but pretty, oh, pretty mild. I mean, we, we get the true four seasons really here in Taranaki yeah. and um, we've actually been really blessed in the last uh, oh, three months really. We've had some amazing weather. Mm. Um, but yeah, so the home's heated by um, a Daikin uh, central heating system okay. um, and that can be zoned per room and stuff like that. So, Fantastic. Um, but yeah, really, you know, the, the only way to go really with um, a system that you can have hidden away, um, not visual and, um, and heat the whole home, which is really important. Yeah, for sure. I mean, no one wants to muck around with fires and stuff like that these days. It's much easier to press a couple of buttons and yep. heat individual rooms in your house. Oh, no, I mean, it's even just... by Wi-Fi, you know, you can turn it on at work, um, so yeah, your home's right. all nice and warm when you get all cool or whatever you like yeah. um, when you get home. So. so quite a lot of thought put into, like, every aspect of this house, is it safe to say? Um, absolutely. It, yeah. It's a, a absolutely comfortable, livable home. Mm, mm. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. And we've got another image here. Um, it's showing us, well, it's just showing us the proximity to Mount Taranaki. I mean, you know, and it looks like you're almost, from what I can see, it looks like you're almost in the bush. Yeah, 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 it's <laughs> right. That? That's fantastic. Yeah. Great yeah. picture. Is that out the back back door or something? Yep, that's just out the back. And um, oh. yep, so you've got a, a great view of the mountain. Yeah. Um, it, it is. <sighs> The thing I love about the subdivision is that it's unique. It's not a sterile subdivision. Um, you know, it's um, uh, like its own little ecosystem down here. And as I say, you're only 10 minute walk to the CBD. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's, it's a really, it is a really neat spot. Yeah. There's no subdivision closer to, um, to town than what we are. Oh, let's see, it looks like a great spot there. They've magnificent yeah. views out the back door. Um, just Taranaki itself on the, the housing stock. Is there much around at the moment? You know, you mentioned a lot of people moving there. So what's, what are things like for, for housing uh, there, stock? Is there much out there? It's, it is a lot like the rest of New Zealand. There's pressure on our, on our housing stock. Yeah. Um, from what we hear in the second-hand market, um, you know, people that are coming here um, have looked in the second-hand market and there's not good quality stock. Um, okay. So, um, and th there's never a better time to actually build than right now. So, yeah. um, interest rates and the LPR and all that stuff. Of course. Mm. Yeah, certainly a good time to start a building project. Uh, yeah. and, and Taranaki itself, you know, good place to live, a lot of, a lot of farming there, like, you, you know, yeah. obviously, yeah, the great coastline. Um, yeah. You know, anything else that people need to know about what it's like to live down there or live up there? Yeah, I mean, well, we're, we've got a huge farming community and obviously we've got our oil and gas, um, but um, probably one of our biggest assets would be our walkway in Pukekura Park. So um, this subdivision is only 10 minutes walk from the Pukekura Park, but it hosts events like um, artists Elton John um, have come and performed at the park, um, has WOMAD, Festival of the Lights. Um, a lot of that stuff um, has the Brooklyn Zoo, um, which is free. Um, yeah. Festival of the Lights is free, so it's a festival that runs for six to eight weeks from December to January. Yeah. Um, and there's artists every night and yeah. um, and the lights. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. you got an OK Rugby team up there too. 
Yeah, we do all right. Um, our stadium's not looking too good at the moment. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit of a might shame. Be, but, might, not um, rug, might not be much rugby for a while. So, yeah. but I mean, we are home of the Barrett boys. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so I don't want to say that because yeah, yeah, yeah. That. we've got to pack it in there, eh? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. I mean, it, there's a lot going on. That you know, they do say um, you can ski in the morning and surf in the afternoon, and and that is 100 percent true. Yeah, that's amazing, eh? Mm. Um, just on yourself, you know, you spent a bit, quite a bit of time in the construction industry. I believe you spent some time in Canada, would that be right? And just yeah, so I've been in the industry for um, 20 years now, I think, something like that. So starting to feel a bit old, really. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I, have um, my partner and business partner um, is Canadian. And um, so I have spent time in Canada in the construction industry over there. And um, yeah, it, it was, yeah, it, a great learning experience going from... Hey, did, you, did you learn much up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, from minus 40 um, to plus 40, um, you know, you at minus 40, you're getting... Um, you've got two pairs of gloves on. You've got ice on your shoulders. You've got ice forming on your eyelashes. Um, ice around your nose. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just unbelievable. But, um, and then you, you end up with the extremes of plus 40 um, and getting heat stroke. But their building industry over there... Um, a lot of French in the industry over there and, and a lot of knowledge. So yes. um, that's actually when I came back with um, the, the passion of building to a higher standard um, okay. and building a, um, a, a healthier, warmer home because they do it very well in Canada. I can imagine. Um, and, and when I came back, uh, we were still doing it poorly back then. Uh, mm-hmm. But New Zealand's come a long way in, in recent years with um, you know, using better technology to keep our homes healthy. That's great. Um, and you also, you know, as well as residential, you've been involved in some commercial stuff as well, you know, so you've got a wide breadth of experience in the, in the construction industry. Anything that, add, that adds to the residential side that you've sort of moved into now with DRH? Um, yeah, I mean, my, my background is predominantly um, was residential. So, sure. um, and um, in, in years with owning a business, um, we were 10 years in business now, um, you know, we've, we've um, moved a lot into commercial on one side of the business and, and also swimming pools. Um, but all of them are, um, are bespoke um, and complement each other very well. So, okay. yeah. Um, you know, things are a little bit different these days. Yeah. He's hoping they come right eventually. Yeah. The show home's still open. I, if, if I'm in Taranaki and I'll, if I want to pop around and have a look, I can I can still come through. Is that right? I believe in yeah, the- yeah, 100%. So uh, we spent um, a lot of time last week, uh, the management team, getting all our health and safety in place. So um, that was for our sites and also the show home. Mm-hmm. Um, so our show home is open, but it's by appointment only. Okay. Um, and you need to make that appointment first. Um, and that's basically so we can run you through what our health and safety is um, here at the show home before you arrive. Sure. Um, and then obviously they would get inducted into site. But um, but absolutely, um, if you want to come and see the show home now, it would be a, a one-on-one viewing. Um, so it's a perfect time. Yeah, that sounds good. And, you know, be happy for people to get on the phone and give you a call and touch base at this stage. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've actually already had four inquiries, um, you know, since we've been back. Wow. Um, yeah, so, you know, th- there's still people out there doing stuff and, and, and going to be building new. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, well, that's about all I had from me. So I suppose, you know, hey, thanks for your time and hope the sun keeps shining up there. And absolutely. He's hoping, he's hoping business continues to flourish up in Taranaki and, you know, the I'm sure the people... When I, I had a chat with a real estate agent in Auckland yesterday, actually New Zealand's number one auctioneer, and he's yeah, saying yeah. what they're hearing in Auckland at the moment is people want to move out of Auckland and move to the provinces. Yeah. One would think that Taranaki would be, you know, still yeah. quite accessible to Auckland, even in a car, isn't it? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. So that's the sort of business that probably is going to start happening. So, yeah, you know, plenty of potential for you guys, and obviously locals are looking to upgrade. So, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, in our network, um, you know, everyone's very positive, and yeah. um, and I think you've got to have that outlook. So, of course, of course. Um, you know, and uh, I mean, it, it is tough times, but um, you know, as a nation, I'm sure we'll pull out of it, you know, very well. Well, I think we, you know, we're doing pretty, we did pretty well on level four. You know, yep. we went and got a burger the other day. You know, yeah, <laughs> I think we're doing okay. <laughs> better than, a lot better than our mates up in America, that's for sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>
yeah, look, we shouldn't focus on that. Hey, look, it, it is Friday, so I yep. um, won't go live for a couple of days, but, you know, grab yourself a beer tonight. and Yeah, it, it won't be at the pub, though. It'll be at home. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time. Appreciate awesome. it. Cheers, Mark. Thanks, man. Thanks.